Hey everyone, I'm just going to read this story to you guys that was fascinating and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this and it's called My Life Hasn't Changed and it's about a Paralympic athlete named Ann Thompson whose spinal cord was severely injured in an accident uh, but she became a Paralympic star and a wheelchair athlete. So um, this story contains a lot of the text structures that we talked about in the video that you watched earlier. And I'm just going to read it to you guys if you'd like to listen along with me. So here we go. My life hasn't changed. Paralympic athlete Ann Thompson bounces back after accident. On a cold morning in Austria, 16-year-old skier Ann Thompson was about to make her last practice run before lunch. At the time, Thompson was one of the United States' top junior skiers. She hoped to win an Olympic gold medal in skiing. As she prepared for that practice run, she couldn't know that it would be the last one she'd ever take. As she sped down the hill on her skis, Thompson had a terrible accident. She fell and severed her spinal cord. The spinal cord is made of tissue that carries signals to and from the brain. They tell body parts when and how to move. Thompson's fall took place 15 years ago, and as a result of the accident, Thompson could no longer walk. Her skiing career was over, but her life as an athlete was not. I never missed a beat. The accident didn't change anything, Thompson told Extra. I never missed a beat. I'm the same person I was before. After her accident, Thompson joined the Cruisers, a program for wheelchair athletes in Connecticut, Thompson's home state, our home state. We brought her down to see what was happening, said Don Chafee, a cruiser official. At first, she said, I can't do that. Then she realized, I can do that. I'm going to do that. And we're so proud of her. Paralympic star. Just over a year after her accident, Thompson was a top wheelchair athlete. Her sport was track and field. As a student at the University of Illinois, Thompson also played basketball. It wasn't easy for her. She had never played basketball before her accident. Now she was learning the sport in a wheelchair. I started practice in October of my freshman year, she said. I made my first basket right before Christmas break. Thompson also joined the U.S. Paralympic team in 1988, 1992. In 1996, she competed in track and field events. She won two gold medals, a silver medal, and two bronze medals. From track to hoops. Soon, though, Thompson knew she had to get a job. She knew that training for track and field took too much time to allow her to work. So she tried out for the U.S. Paralympic women's basketball team instead, and she made it. Thompson played basketball at the Paralympic Games in Sydney, Australia in October. Her husband, a U.S. team trainer, went to Australia with her. Role model. Thompson is a role model for millions of people with physical disabilities. Her message to kids is simple. Try, she said. Really try. If you want to do something, give it your best effort. If you really want to do something, you can find a way to do it. The kids who watch her practice see her as proof that anything is possible. They see this lady in her wheelchair going around, getting married, and loving life, said Chafee. And they say, hey, I can make it too. Now that's it for this video. And uh, we are going to pick up tomorrow with some questions that we're going to answer about this text and a little discussion about it. So uh, stay tuned. And you guys, um, you don't have to answer the questions at the bottom of the page today. Uh, don't worry about those. Those are going to be part of the assignment tomorrow. So uh, keep up the good work, everyone. Stay motivated. I know that we miss each other, but you guys are doing so good. And I'm so proud of all the work that you're sending me. So keep it going. And I'll talk to you all soon.